Hey everyone, it's Justin from Number Crunch Nerds. In this video, we're gonna be solving accounting problems using T accounts, and we're also going to be recording accounting journal entries. So let's just jump right in. It says, Paulson Company had the following prepaid rent information. Paulson paid 42,000 prepaid rent on a one-year lease starting November the 15th, 2022. It says, Paulson does a monthly calendar closing of the books. It says, prepare the necessary journal entries for November the 15th, November 30 and December 31, and then determine the prepaid rent account balance at April 30th, 2023, based solely on the information above. All right, so step one, the first step in solving any accounting problem, as always, is to what? Organize the information you're given. Don't just read this again and again, trying to solve it in your head. That never works, okay? You have to organize. And when you're given information about account balances, the first thing you should be thinking about is, of course, T accounts. So I have a T account right here. Here it is, prepaid rent. Prepaid rent is an asset. Asset increases with a debit. So I would expect that the beginning balance, the increases, and the ending balance will all be debits, okay? All for, for all assets, right? This happens to be an asset. Uh, normal balance will be a debit. If I have a decrease, to this asset called prepaid rent, it will be on the credit side of the account right here. Okay, so now that we have our T account, let's start putting the information in that we have. It says, number one, we had a $42,000 uh, prepaid rent. We, we paid that 42,000 on November the 15th. So I'm gonna go down here, I'm gonna put my date of November the 15th, I'm going to put 42,000 in. That's my increase. All right, there is no information given here about any beginning balance. So barring any information provided, we're going to say that that is zero. So now we have two of our four balances, right? Beginning, increase, decrease, and end. We don't have the decrease or the end yet. We do have these two. However, we have been given the information to figure out what this is, haven't we? Let's go back and see. It says we have a $42,000 uh, prepaid rent on a one-year lease. Okay, so we know that the 42,000 relates to one year of time, okay? Which means what? Well, it means we can calculate a monthly amount. So that's the next thing we're gonna do. The lease expense calculation. How much is it gonna be per month? Well, you have a $42,000 prepayment, you have a 12 month term of the lease. So we're gonna have 3,500 as the uh, monthly rent expense. Okay, so we know that. All right, so now we have two. We, we have step two complete. We know this. We have our information organized here. Let's see what else it asks. It asks for some entries, okay? November 15th, that's actually the day that we did the prepayment. So we're gonna be putting the prepayment on the books. That's gonna be the November 15th entry. Then what happens on November 30th? Well, we're gonna be using up the prepaid rent, right? Like time will be passing, and so we'll be renting the property and we will be incurring rent expense, and so the prepayment will be getting used up, right? And so as of November 30th, some amount will be used up. Specifically, if it started on November 15th and November 30th is two weeks, two weeks of time will have passed. And then on, no on December the 31st, that's another month. Another month of time has passed. So we'll be recording what? rent expense, right? We'll be incurring rent expense and we'll be reducing our prepaid balance, right? That's what you, that's what, that's how prepaids work. You prepay and then as you, as the month goes by, as time goes by, you incur the expense, all right? And so we'll, we'll, we'll deal with this one later. So, so the next thing is here's an entry, entry, and entry. We've got three entries to make, all right? So let's go down and work on that. So step three, we're going to record the entries. So what's the entry at, um, November 15th. Well, that's when we did the prepayment. So how do you pay for something like this? Well, you pay with cash. Okay, so the prepaid expense, prepaid rent is an asset. Asset increases with a debit. So we're going to have a debit on November 15th of 42000 That's the first one. Debit prepaid rent, 42000 How do we pay? What are we giving up? We're giving up cash of 42000 So credit cash, the asset cash goes down with the credit right there. So there's my entry. Asset up, 42,000. Asset down, 42,000. That's my November 15th entry. Next up, November 30th, what happened? 
Well, I incurred rent expense for the two weeks between November the 15th and November the 30th. I have calculated a monthly rental expense to be 3,500, which means this amount is gonna be what? It's gonna be half, right? It's gonna be half of this amount. That's why I told you to watch dates, okay? We calculated a monthly amount, but we need, a, we need a, an amount for two weeks for this particular entry, okay? So it's the, we know the number is gonna be half this amount. Now, what is the entry? Well, what are we incurring? We're incurring rent expense. What is an expense? Well, it's an expense, and where does it belong? It belongs on the income statement. Expenses go on the income statement, okay? So how does an expense increase? Expense increases with a debit. So we're gonna have debit of 1750 rent expense. This number right here is gonna be 3,500 divided by two, right, for two weeks of time. So debit rent expense, rent expense is an income statement account, rent expense in, like all expenses, increases with a debit. And what's the other side of the entry? We know the number will be 1750. What's the entry gonna be? Well, we're reducing the prepaid rent account, right? We're reducing the asset prepaid rent because time is passing and we're incurring the uh, rent expense. So we credit the asset prepaid rent to reduce it. Asset decreases with a credit. So we credit the asset for 1750. So that's the November 30th journal entry. Now. What happens on December the 31st? Well, same thing, right? We've incurred another month. So what's the entry gonna be? Well, it's gonna be the same entry, right? Gonna be the same except for the amount. The amount is gonna be for the full month, right? We're still incurring, we incur another month of rent expense. Expense increases with a debit. Expense is an income statement account. We reduce our prepayment by one month's worth of rent that was incurred. So. Uh, debit rent expense, 3,500. Credit prepaid rent, 3,500. All right, so we've taken care of the journal entries for the three relevant dates. Now, what was the last question? Determine the prepaid rent account balance on April the 30th, 2023, based solely on the information above. Okay, so what it's asking here is like, do you understand T accounts? Do you understand how a T account works? Can you figure out, based on the information we have, What's the balance here on this date? How many more months have gone by? Well, we just recorded uh, December's adjustment, right? The, the rent expense for December, uh, November, excuse me, and December as well. And this is asking for April. Okay, so let's go back down to our T account. I've moved it down here so we can do this calculation. There was our prepayment. What's the first entry? There's the 1750 that we recorded the rent expense for November. What's the next entry? 3,500 for the rent expense that we uh, recorded in December, the prepayment went down. What happens in January? Same entry. February, same entry. March, same entry. April, same entry. All right, so now we have all the entries through the date that was asked about, through April 30th, and what do we do? How do you? How do you figure out the balance in the T account? Well, it's pretty simple. You sum up everything on the debit side, you sum up everything on the credit side, and then you subtract the smaller number from the larger number, and you put the result on the appropriate side. In this case, the debit side is bigger as expected because this is an asset, so I'm expecting a debit balance. You put the number here. This is the net balance. This is the sum of all debits minus the sum of all credits gives you 22,750 is the ending balance in the prepaid rent account at April the 30th, 2023, based on the information provided.